So we're going to look at um, uh, aligning an instrument using a nominal geometry relationship. Uh, this is just one of the many ways that you can align to a CAD model in Spatial Analyzer. Um, this is specifically uh, for when you're looking at individual features, maybe like a bolt pattern or a large cylinder that you want to align to, and you want that alignment to be really tight on those features. So it performs the same function as a quick align to CAD um, or a best fit transformation, uh, but it's just a little bit uh, more specific to the features that you're interested in. So this is how we do that. First of all, get your toolkit up there. If you don't already see it, you can just right click in the gray space and select toolkit. And then we're going to look at the relationships tab. So the relationships tab has um, three main uh, areas here. The first one is just to create geometries based on points that you've measured. And the second is to create geometries and then compare those to nominal features. So that's what we want to do today is create some geometries, which are specifically circles, and then we want to compare them to the circles on the model. So I'm going to use this command here, which is circle from CAD cylinder. And I'm going to select three CAD cylinders there and then press enter. Now, if you're measuring um, with an instrument, that's all the setup that you have to do. Just select those features, then you're ready to go ahead and measure. Um, so if you're ready on your instrument, just double click on the top one there and then just start measuring that circle. Typically, this would be performed with a uh, quarter inch or eighth inch pin nest. And uh, SA will automatically recognize the offsets that are used in your pin nest um, as long as you select them, uh, select the correct, correct targeting from here. In my case, I've already measured the points. So this is a case where you'd uh, already have measured the job and you want to just go back and perform your alignment afterwards. You can do it this way. So the way that I'm going to do that is just right click on the relationship, go to associate data, select groups. So this is for my first circle and that one was here. Then for my second circle, associate data, groups, and select that one, and then repeat one more time for the last circle. Oops. I need to select groups. And that's all you have to do. <clears throat> so if you were measuring, you would have just measured those three ones and just make sure to um, select the appropriate one as you're going through. You just measure circle one, measure circle two, measure circle three, and then you're done there. So then the last thing that you have to do is go to instrument alignment. We'll go to new. We want to select nominal geometry relationships. And then I'll expand this. We want to select all three of those relationships. You have to have a minimum of three nominal geometry relationships. So once we select three circles, we'll have three points and we can perform an alignment to those three points. Hit OK, and then you'll see this dialog here, which is the best fit transformation. So it's taking those center points from those three circles. It's aligning them up with the nominal center points. If I just hit refresh on there, you can see we get an excellent fit, um, one-tenth being the worst case scenario from all of those. Um, you see we've got uh, really good max error, really good RMS on all of those. So I'm just going to hit apply transformation. And then we are aligned to our CAD model. And it's as simple as that. We could have used more than three relationships if we wanted to. We could go back and add this entire bolt pattern here. Um, you know, we could add more points in each one of these relationships. But that's basically it. That's all you have to do is select your nominal geometries, measure your points, or associate your data to those relationships, and then just perform a uh, nominal geometry alignment.